hello my honeybees and welcome to my channel today i will be showing you how to use a slider class bead or as some people call it a stopper bead so stay tuned and we'll get right to it here's a list of the tools you will need and i left a link in the description below which takes you to my etsy store honeybee bead store where you will find slider class beads and many other charms and findings that will help you on your jewelry journey okay guys we're back and today i'm going to show you how to use the slider class bead or as some people know it in the jewelry world a stopper bead they come in many different colors i have here platinum or silver you've got gold and you've also got rose gold so guys one of the most common questions that I get from my customers um, would be how exactly do you use these stopper beads on mm, an existing bracelet or a necklace that already has a lobster claw attached to it or some form of closing clasp already there. And just for reference, anyone wondering what a lobster claw clasp is, it's uh, a finding that you put on one end of your jewelry and using a lever, it opens and closes and you connect it to an o-ring or a jump ring on the other end of your piece of jewelry and that helps secure it to your body and you can also um, undo it to remove it from your body. The tools that you're going to need today would be two flat nose pliers. Uh, see these the tips are flat yeah, you can see it a little better in this one now if you have experience with pliers you may only just need one but if you don't um, I suggest you use two to get better control of your equipment so we need these two we also have your existing bracelet or uh, necklace that already has your lobster claw clasp and your o-ring you need as well one stopper bead and you also need an eye pin so an eye pin is a very basic but yet very necessary uh, finding in the jewelry world as you can see here it's just a almost like a straight pin with a loop on top and it's used to either make tangles for your earrings or you can make a, a loop to the other end of it, fill it in with beads and um, use it as a connecting link or as a focal link for your bracelets or necklaces or whatever jewelry you're making. So this eye pin is probably the most important part of, of helping me uh, get through this process of using my stopper bead and getting my chain through it. Okay, so just in case you don't have an eye pin on hand, there are many other things you can use. You can use a U hairpin. You can also use a piece of wire and you can use your pliers and make a loop to the top. And that is all you really need um, to help pull your chain through your stopper bead. Okay, all right. So now we have everything set. We can go ahead and get started in getting the stopper bead and chain together okay guys here we go so the first thing you're going to do we're going to use our pliers and we want to remove this uh, o-ring that also has a lobster claw attached to it as you can see here so if you've never used uh, pliers before you're going to use one on either end of the o-ring i don't know if you can see it here let me show you the o-ring has a sort of a an opening here that's the opening we're going to be using to get your clasp off so we're going to put one end of your pliers on one side of the opening and another pliers on the other side now, using this to make it very easy, you pull one pliers while you push the other very gently. Okay, so let me do it again. I'm going to close it and do it again to show you. One on either side of the opening. 
you pull one pliers towards you and you push the other away from you and that opens your opening see so now you would be able to remove your chain from that o-ring and separate it from your, lob your lobster claw clasp so this is what we want to get on your entire necklace we want to have it free we want to have two free ends that allows your stopper bead to go in so we're going to do the same for the other end of the chain now this is really a bracelet um, this is a slider bracelet but if you have a necklace I mean you can just pretend that this is a necklace it's sealed here and you've got lobster claw on one side and an o-ring on the other and you just need to remove each one so you can put in your stopper bead so we're going to do the same thing here we're going to place our pliers on both sides on either side of the opening and when you're going to push one side and pull the other and it opens like this I'll do it again one last time you're gonna push and pull and it opens the o-ring that's what you want to get and then you remove the o-ring from the chain see so you're going to put those aside safely because we're going to be using those again now the next thing you want to get your wire or your eye pin and you will see there's an a hook on one side we're going to open that hook so it's going to open a bit using your pliers open it a bit like this i don't know if you can see that it's open my finger is casting a shadow so that's what your hook looks like open and we're gonna hook our chain into the eye pin like so and using your pliers close that opening that you made on the eye pin so now you have your eye pin secured to your chain do you see that eye pin is secured to your chain so we're going to take this now and holding your stopper bead you're going to push your eye pin through the stopper bead like this and you're going to thread the chain through the stopper bead like that okay i'll do it again just for you to get a an idea you're going to take your eye pin that has your chain attached and you're going to send it through your stopper bead like that and when it reaches the connection you just gently tug it through so it passes over the eye pin and it's onto your chain like this now we need to repeat the same process with the other chain so i need to remove this eye pin so make an opening on your eye pin as you did before remove your chain and attached attach your other end as well and we're going to repeat the process close your eye pin and again you're going to push the eye pin through the hole on the stopper bead like that okay and you're going to pull it little tug and let your chain go in so now you would have both pieces of chains into your stopper bead okay so now you have your slider bead on there your stopper bead is on your bracelet um you could move on now and you can either um insert beads onto the bands on either side so 
you know your beads become part of your bracelet or you can leave the chain open as is um, without any beads on it and you can form a bridge now using an eye pin with a loop on either side you can fill beads into your eye pin close the loop and attach the two loops to the open ends of the, your chain so that becomes like the focal point of your bracelet to the top and the way you get in you slide the slider bead all the way down you push your hand in and if it's too uh, loose you slide it closer to your wrist and you tighten and that's all you need to do if you want to um, secure it that way okay so guys i went ahead here to show you how to go ahead and put back on that lobster claw onto your chain if you would like to but um it's not necessary because you already have the stopper bead on there and it's just a matter of you um putting a link to the top or using gems or using uh stones or beads or whatever your preference is onto your bracelet so you don't necessarily have to um put back on your lobster claw i just did it just to show you uh, guide you as to how to go ahead and put back on or put on a lobster claw clasp onto your chain okay so just had to let you know that so you don't need to go on if you don't need if you don't want to if you know how to use a lobster claw but if you'd like to learn you can stay on and watch okay so again you insert your lobster claw and o-ring into your bracelet and you close it up okay so you push and pull that's how you you get it closed now you do the reverse again we do the same thing on the other end Gotta close this up so you put in your o-ring so you can either use your fingers I'm doing because I'm accustomed with you know using these pliers so I'm gonna pull with my finger towards me and push at the same time where both of them meet together and closes the o-ring if you're using the pliers you just do the reverse so this is it already opened you're gonna hold your pliers and bring it towards you to meet the other end like this so it's closed securely So you can close it up. Whoops, I didn't secure this one, apparently. Sometimes your eye pins are very easy to open with your bare hands. And sometimes again, they're very hard. It depends on the gauge of the o-ring, okay? So there you have your stopper bead added to your necklace or your bracelet so I'm gonna close this up and you'll have an idea when the stopper bead goes all the way down the bracelet opens up and you can put in your hand and all you do is hold on to the ends and tighten it to your liking now usually on a bracelet like this uh, you don't find a uh, stopper bead and clasp okay where this clasp is you can literally add uh, you can replace that clasp with a bead of your choice um, you can put a charm you can add charms to these o-rings you know it's so many different things you can and uh, can you know do once uh, these are off you can slide in uh your beads of your choice just make sure that they can pass through you know the opening of the bracelet these top of beads come in different sizes to accommodate different size chains as well so it's always good to note that okay so if you've got uh i have an example here if you have beads like these 
and you'd like to use them on your bracelet. After you put on your stopper beads, you can slip them in and then you can close it up. Okay, so it's really, really simple. I can always, if you're interested in knowing how to add a charm or a bead or, you know, a focal point here in your bracelet or necklace, just let me know in the comments below and I will definitely do a tutorial on that. If you have any questions, please feel free to write me down below and I will definitely respond to you. That's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope it was easily understandable. Um, if you need clarification on anything, just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Okay, thank you. Have a great day, guys. Stay safe.